In this tutorial, I will show you how to make this cool transformer effect in DaVinci Resolve. Here I have two clips that I will transition into each other. Copy the first clip. Go to the last frame and freeze the frame. Do the same for the other one. Position the clips like I do. Copy the freezed clip like this. Open the copied one in color page. We will be removing the car. I have a video where I explain this better, so make sure to check it out. Take your pen tool and make a mask on the foreground. Add alpha output. Go to sizing window and move the mask over the car. But to save time, I will use Photoshop's Generative Fill. Great. Now we have two backgrounds without the cars. Now let's start making the effect itself. Open the first freezed layer in color page. Mask out a part of the car using pen tool. Add alpha output. Then go back to the edit page. Copy the masked layer. Open that in the color page. Press on the pen tool so I disables the last mask that we made. Click on the new pen tool button. Mask out another part of the car. If you are left with these transparent cracks between the masks, make sure to cover them by stretching the mask points. Repeat the process until you have masked the car fully. Make each one of the masked layers a new compound clip. Cut the clips to the size you want. Then open the top clip in the Fusion page. Add Camera Shake. Go to the first frame and add a keyframe for speed and overall strength. Move about 20-30 frames forward and add another keyframe. Reset the values. After that, open the clips window from the upper left corner. Copy the camera shake node and paste it to the next clip. Adjust the X and Y deviation and randomness for every clip so it will look cooler. Do this for every clip. Good. Cut the clips to different sizes and add a fade out animation by dragging from the upper right corner of the clip. Now, the first car is ready. Let's do the same thing for the next car. Mask out a part of the car, add alpha output, then copy the clip and repeat.
Go ahead and make some compound clips. Move the clips so they start when the other one stops, like this. Open the top one in Fusion. Copy the camera shake. Open keyframe window from the top right. Press the drop down arrow next to the camera shake. Let's remove the first two lines of keyframes because we want the clip to start with a lot of movement and end with no movement. If you only have two keyframes here, make sure to add one to the end where you reset, adjust the values to zero. Now, let's copy the camera shake for the rest of the clips. Make sure to adjust the X and Y deviation and the randomness. Now, before we finish up this effect, if you want to learn how to make a cool car clone effect in DaVinci Resolve, make sure to check this video out. Move the original car clip at the end of the effect. You can put a smooth cut where the background videos transition, so you'll get a nice looking fade. Now open one of the masked clips in Fusion. Press Settings. Enable Motion Blur. Repeat this for every clip. Highlight all the masked layers into one new compound clip. Add drop shadow. Adjust the distance so it looks realistic. Do this for the other car also. That's basically it. 